Welcome to Hong Kong. Country number 54. 54. That's the room tour. It didn't take long at all. Look at that view. Good morning. So we are on our way to the airport. Um, it is currently 7 a.m. So we had to get up a little bit early, but not too bad. Our flight leaves at noon. It's a two hour subway ride from like the center of Shanghai to the airport. So yes, Shanghai is huge. <laughs> and we have absolutely loved our time here in Shanghai. And it has been so convenient and easy with the 72 hour subway card that was equivalent to like seven US dollars per person. So we have definitely got our use out of that. On our way to Hong Kong now, I'm so excited. And it was really nice staying with Ryan and Lou. Uh, it was, it's crazy because I don't think I've ever had a conversation with Ryan in my life. We went to the same middle school and high school uh, he was a year ahead of me. It was just crazy how our first like time having a conversation is uh, halfway across the world. And I love that we got to stay here because this is like so residential here. And so we get a, a better glimpse into everyday life um, here in Shanghai. Speaking of, we are on our way to go and get some breakfast from the crepe lady from yesterday. Um, it was really good, so we want another one of those. We have sat here the last three mornings to eat. We are regulars. Yeah, we're gonna miss this little corner. Is it still steaming hot? Yeah. Did not get the spicy stuff this time. Mm. Smell cilantro. It's so strong. I love cilantro. Peter doesn't. <laughs> up at our gate. That's like a decent gate over there. And then we turn down here. This is so interesting. I'm like, wait, what are we, are we really going to the right gate? This like looks like we're in a factory or a warehouse. What? It, the rest of the airport was really nice. Oh, here's a mural. That brightens it up a little bit. Oh, then this is nice. I just did something really dumb. Like, really frustrating and really makes me mad. And Peter's mad too. <laughs> I was in a hurry. I was dumping footage. I deleted footage off my SD card before it was done transferring. I thought my photos were done transferring and just the video was still transferring. The photos were not done. So, we have photos of us at Disney from here in Shanghai, but everything else, a photos of us throughout Shanghai, it's gone. I don't have it. And I can't get it back. And all the video is fine, but none of our pictures of the two of us are going to be here. And also, we took pictures yesterday with uh, Brian and Lou. I was too hasty. Do not be hasty with your SD card. Peter brought you back to Starbucks. That's exciting. No photos. So, I was in the shop looking at all these pandas they have on sale. I found one that's pretty much exactly like the one on my backpack that we found in Disney that somebody had just dropped and we couldn't find the owner. It's here for 28. So that saved me about four dollars and fifty cents. That's great. A little circle too. Yeah. And they'll do last call. Going with China Eastern. Shay Shay. Well, that was like a really long uh, bus ride. It was like ten minutes actually to the plane. China 
Easter. This is really nice. The weird thing is, is that the three seats over there are A, B, and C, and then here is J, K, L. So I'm not sure why they didn't do. They have a reason. D, E, and F. It's an Obviously, it started at one. It did at the very beginning. It went one through eight, and then it after skips. you passed first class, then it came to. I'm 33. I'm, I'm in seat 46K, and I was like, what kind of plane is this? <laughs> Except what's not normal That's about so it is so all the life group you have. It's great. Finally, 40 minutes late, we're taking off. We're just like sitting here. salmon salad. And I even have a lotus cookie for dessert. I love it. Asian cities as well. So I actually um, was able to get my Hong Kong Airport Express ticket round trip for both of us for about half the price on there. It has a QR code, we will scan it when we get off and hopefully it'll work. We also got our octopus card for all of our little trips. I also got our Hong Kong Disneyland tickets and a Hong Kong Disneyland meal voucher um, on Kluke as well. And it was crazy. Instead of $78 per ticket when you buy it on Disneyland Hong Kong, it was $55 per ticket. So again, another great savings. Um, so yeah, I found this app Kluke. I thought maybe it was a scam or something, but 19,000 people have bought the Kluke Disney tickets. And then on TripAdvisor, people were talking about it. So I figured, all right, must be, must be a good app. Ooh, nice seats. Well, there's even Wi-Fi. Like in Hong Kong already. We seriously like haven't even seen anything, but sure have. We saw a lot on the approach. Yes. You were like napping. But yeah, I was. But it's already been like so friendly for immigration. Instead of saying foreigners come here, it said visitors. <laughs> so this train only has three stops, and so that way it can go really fast, and then it goes to three main stations along this route. So we're getting off at the second one. Moment of truth to see if this barcode works to get us out of here. 
Oh, QR code's there. Oh, thank you. Oh, I see. Nice. Oops. It disappeared. My phone decided to stop working. Okay. Perfect. Ha! Ah. Hey, that was easy. All right, so this is not exactly where we need to be, but the cool thing is when you get the Airport Express train, it includes a free shuttle bus service as well. We are gonna take the one, the purple line now, and that gets you to the um, Shimsha Shu area. I know I'm probably totally butchering that, but that's like a major touristy area. And it's also where like the super affordable hotels are in Hong Kong. And so that's why we're staying down there. Um, our, we're actually meeting up with one of our really good friends um, here in Hong Kong. And she recommended probably don't stay, to, stay in that area, Lisa. It's not a very nice area of town. But when I was looking and looking, I just couldn't find anything for a better deal. And we have done not nice areas of town before and I, I figured we'll be all right for a couple days. So that's where we're going now. So then this stops at some of the major hotels along the way. Now you do not have to be staying at those hotels in order to use the free shuttle service. And so that was something that was interesting to me. <laughs> This was the closest hotel to us. So we were warned that um, there would just be a lot of people trying to sell us stuff. So it's already happened, but we know how to say no. But yeah, this is actually like, there's so many shops on the way in and stuff. Lots of people, lots of shops. Oh, there's a service counter even. Nice. This one is the odd elevator. You were confused because at first we went in the even one. So you yeah, exactly. I probably should, Peter. Yeah. There's so many, so many doors. It's like a maze. Yeah, fourth floor, and then the members. Fourth the floor, D8. D8. Yes. Nice. So, maybe. All right, welcome to our humble abode. It is less than twenty dollars a night. So just keep that in mind for Hong Kong. So that's really stinking good. All right, so we have hot water here. So we'll have to buy some um, best cafe packets because I'm out of. Um, coffee and then down here it's actually a really like nice door yeah um, solid and then really tiny bathroom and shower and shower so showers right here hot water and then there so yes very small um, but this is what you get in Hong Kong if you want a decent price decent sized bed um, you even have a fridge so that's great got our toilet paper check towels check you can sit and watch TV if you want. Got a fan. Boom, what more do you want? <laughs> nice paintings even. Some nice touches in here. There you go. That's the room tour. <laughs> Didn't take long at all. We are back to fast Wi-Fi and back to being able to use our apps. The Great Firewall of China is a legit thing. So what that meant is we had to have a VPN on on my phone in order for any um, of my American apps to work. Um, i.e. Google, Google Maps, YouTube, um, Facebook. Facebook, none of those were working. Voxer, which is how I talked to my parents. Um, anyways, and so Peter actually, it was really nice to talk about your T-Mobile plan. So T-Mobile, for some reason, and we heard it, uh, this also worked for somebody from the UK, we were, I was able to still access all of the American apps through our data. So as long as I was just on data through T-Mobile in China, I was fine. But as soon as I switched to Wi-Fi, boom, access was all gone. So, so it was your American SIM so card. You use the, if you have an American SIM, like T-Mobile while you're there, boom, you're good. And apparently if you're from UK or somewhere else, you're probably fine too. And then my VPN on my computer, and my phone would sometimes work and sometimes wouldn't or just stop randomly working. This morning, I woke up to a message from my mother-in-law and from my sister, both like, uh, what's going on? Um, yeah, and I haven't got like any YouTube videos up at that time because like, I mean, I, I couldn't even be on a VPN long enough to get a YouTube video uploaded. All that to say, it is nice to be back to where all my apps work and uh, I can let my family know that we are okay. 
It is definitely a maze getting to our place. Once you know where you're going, it should be like absolutely fine. All right, now we figured it out, so we're good to go. But yeah, there's a lot of shops back here, so you basically find anything you want back here. It does seem a little bit higher priced. Obviously, I've been seeing what regular prices, but it just seems a little high to me. So we're gonna go to a grocery store, um, get some groceries uh, so to be able to have in our room, um, and also we are just gonna explore right around here because we have a lot of points right in this area. It really is a good central location. It's a little bit, a little bit weird, um, but it works. So our place is in the Chunking Mansion shopping area. Oh, look at this craziness. Everyone just goes right away. Some old school taxis. The Grand Piazza, and there are several uh, restaurants, shops, and I believe it's a hotel on the top. It's a nice view of the skyline right here, Hong Kong. Cultural center and this really cool clock tower. What is that smell? Sewage. Sewage. Really nasty sewage. Lights are coming on. This is so perfect. Yeah. It's a pretty cool structure. Peter loves his escalators. Look at that view. Oh, breathtaking. So we knew that Hong Kong was going to be more expensive than China. At least I expected it to be that way. I just did not expect it to be as much as it is. Now granted we are in like the touristy spot so maybe not all of Hong Kong is like this but we stopped to see what a uh, just to get an average of like okay this is what the prices are in this area. A large uh, like three topping pizza at Pizza Hut was 25 US dollars. Yes, <laughs> it is a little bit more than I thought. So we'll we'll see about the grocery store. Um, but then there there are some cheaper like street food options, like five to six dollars, um, but not like the two to three, which what we just had in China. So this Garden of Stars is kind of like the Star Walkway in Hollywood. So here you have the handprints. This is the stars of of Hong Kong. So that's why I have the movie reel. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna find many people with bigger hands than you. Oh, she had tiny hands. Yay, we found a place that accepts visa. Getting some green tea for your throat. Oh goodness, Peter, how much was that grocery bill? $33 for that. Are you kidding? We got like two days worth of food for that, which actually isn't bad. So we did, we did really good, but we were very careful about what we put in the cart. We found the back and easy way into our hotel. Do you want 
We had some noodles for dinner, um, and now it is time to go to bed at a somewhat decent hour to wake up tomorrow for Hong Kong Disney. I am so excited. Tomorrow will be Thursday. And just on Saturday, we were at Shanghai Disney. So two Disneys in less than a week. That is crazy <laughs> in two different countries. Um, subscribe if you are not already, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, and the exciting thing about Hong Kong Disneyland is it does not open until 10.30 a.m., which I'm rather excited about because then we can definitely be there when it opens and we don't have to wake up super early. We don't have to wake up until 7.30. Good night. Oh. Careful, babe. You're just ripping this part apart. I did.